I've never even knew of another gay surfer, ever. You know, if you're gay, cool, just don't tell anyone about it. The thought of myself being gay drove me to near suicide. I know fundamentally nothing is wrong with me, but I felt like there was something wrong with me, and that was the most damaging part. My parents told me that they loved me because they had already witnessed a suicide in our family because of non-acceptance. He said that that secret had the power to destroy him, his career, and the two companies that were sponsoring him. On tour, it was so frowned upon. They didn't want to hear about it. They didn't want it spoken about. And as a culture, the secrecy has driven people to terrible outcomes. People who have had great careers, successful careers, cut short by their admission that they are different. I had to leave professional surfing because my life was being eaten away. I always knew in the back of my mind that I would be called upon to stand up and say there's no reason to be homophobic. We really have a social objective to help others who need it. This is a very powerful thing to have a voice and to tell your story as individual and as different as it is. It feels good knowing that there are other people out there who are gay and surf or who surf and are gay. I don't know which way direction you want to go with that one.